Today we will talk about zinc, one of the most important minerals. Since it performs many functions in the body, its deficiency causes various health complications. In this video I will introduce you to the most common symptoms and effects of zinc deficiency. In addition, I will tell you how to check its levels and what exactly you can do to replenish its deficiencies. I will also mention factors which make you particularly at risk of zinc deficiency. Even though there is relatively little public discussion about zinc, according to estimates, up to 2 billion people are around the world may be suffering from its deficiency. And I'm here to start this important conversation. Zinc is a key ingredient for the proper functioning of our immune system. It is responsible for activating hormones secreted by the thymus gland, one of the glands located in the human body. This is important because these hormones, in turn, have a positive influence on our immune cells, for example, T lymphocytes and NK cells, also known as natural killers. Simply put, they make immune cells more effective in fighting off intruders. In the absence of zinc, the activity of these cells is reduced, which weakens the entire immune system. So if you are struggling with, for instance, recurring viral infections and get sick every now and then, low levels of zinc could be the cause. Zinc deficiency often also manifests through skin lesions. Researchers have repeatedly noted that low zinc levels may lead to an increase in acne lesions for people struggling with acne vulgaris. Additionally, in a paper from 2019, we can read that zinc deficiency may also be linked to atopic dermatitis. This means that symptoms like skin discoloration, redness, dryness, combined with itching and the appearance of pimples may indicate a lack of zinc. For people with zinc deficiency, using moisturizers and steroids usually doesn't improve the condition of their skin to a satisfactory level. In such cases, it's necessary to supplement zinc through your diet. It's also worth mentioning that low levels of zinc, which has anti-inflammatory properties, can manifest as inflammation of the tongue and lips. Chronic zinc deficiency also accelerates skin aging, causes wrinkles and skin folds to appear. Speaking of how important zinc is to the condition of our skin, it is also worth mentioning that its absence impedes wound healing. Zinc is an essential ingredient for the synthesis and production of proteins. It's also taking a part in the construction of keratin and collagen. Besides that, zinc is an antioxidant compound that inhibits the activity of free radicals. All this means that ones heal longer when our zinc levels are too low and much faster when we supplement it. Researchers have found that there may be a direct link between zinc deficiency and hair loss. In fact, just like with skin, the hair of people with low levels of zinc becomes dry and more brittle, which may be one of the reasons for balding. At the same time, after incorporating products rich in zinc into our diet, the hair gradually grows back and excessive hair loss stops. This effect is probably caused by zinc playing a crucial role in hair keratinization. It also inhibits the processes associated with the atrophy of hair follicles and makes them regenerate much faster. Since we are already discussing appearance-related issues, I will add that low levels of zinc can impact the state of our nails. Scientists suggest that such a deficiency can lead to the appearance of white spots on the nails. In the literature, this is referred to as loconychia. It is worth noting that these are not always spots. It can also be white furrows running across the nail. Of course, there may be other reasons for this, but zinc deficiency is one of the possibilities. Few people know that zinc is an ingredient involved in the reception of taste and olfactory stimuli. This means that our perception of flavors is made possible by zinc. In view of this, as one might expect, low levels of it may be closely related to taste disorders. For example, researchers noted that elderly people whose bodies were more saturated with zinc were characterized by a greater sensitivity to salt. That is, they felt its taste more intensely. Additionally, it was noted that people with lower levels of zinc in their blood were less sensitive to sour taste. In view of this, if it seems that the foods you eat taste less intensely, that some time ago it is worth checking your zinc levels. In my practice, I often encounter patients who complain of emerging tinnitus. There could be several reasons for this, but I think few people think to link this unpleasant feeling to zinc deficiency. I have come across several studies which confirmed that low zinc levels can cause tinnitus. 
I also came across a scientific paper which showed that supplementing zinc reduced the severity of this undesirable symptom. However, for the sake of integrity, I must emphasize that not all study results confirm this effect. The link between tinnitus and zinc may be caused by the latter's impact on the activity of synapses, meaning connections between cells located in the ear canal. Due to its antioxidant properties, zinc could also protect the cochlea, the most important part of the inner ear, from damage. Some of you might be interested to know that zinc deficiency can cause the onset of diarrhea. What's more, a comprehensive scientific paper summarizing 16 studies showed that zinc supplementation reduces the duration and severity of acute and persistent diarrhea. However, to date, it has not been fully explained why zinc deficiency can cause diarrhea and where exactly its anti-diarrheal properties come from. According to Karin Knowledge, zinc can have a significant impact on our appetite. It's involved in the regulation of various hormones and peptides responsible for food intake processes. And scientists have proven that a lack of zinc can manifest itself in reduced appetite. I would like to come back for a moment to what I said about zinc impacting taste. Unsurprisingly, this aspect may be the cause of diminished appetite in people with zinc deficiency. In one study, researchers even noted that giving zinc to children struggling with anorexia improved their appetite and, as a result, increased their food intake. Cellular level experiments have shown that zinc plays a key role in the regulating communication between neurons or nerve cells. Based on these, researchers speculated that low levels of zinc could lead to memory problems. Their relationship was confirmed by studies involving human subjects. The researchers noted that children with zinc deficiency showed signs of impaired memory. What's more, after supplementing the ingredient, the subject's memory improved. As I said earlier, zinc is important for the nervous system. It's involved in regulating brain receptors and affects the so-called brain-derived neurotrophic factor, which in turn plays a vital role in the formation of new nerve cells. Apart from that, zinc is a powerful antioxidant and a compound with anti-inflammatory effects. Without going into too much detail, I will say that all these properties make zinc influence our psychological functions. As a result, zinc deficiency in the body can lead to mental disorders. By this, I primarily mean depressive states, feelings of anxiety, irritability and emotion instability. Many scientific studies to date confirm that zinc deficiency is very common for people struggling with depression. There is also extensive literature proving that zinc supplementation elevates depressive symptoms. Therefore, if you are struggling with a low mood, it's always worth ensuring that your diet includes products rich in zinc. Reading books on physiology, we can learn that zinc is an essential ingredient in the process of spermatogenesis, meaning sperm production. Zinc deficiency not only impairs spermatogenesis, but also causes damage to Leydig cells located in the testicles. Because these cells are responsible for, among other things, the production of sex hormones, low zinc levels can also impact the production of testosterone. Accordingly, symptoms of zinc deficiency can also include deterioration of sperm quality and reduced fertility for men. A paper from 2016 proved that zinc supplementation contributed to a significant increase in semen volume as well as sperm mobility. This only further confirms that keeping adequate levels of zinc in our bodies is important for preserving fertility. A lack of zinc can also result in vision problems. This ingredient is involved in transporting vitamin A, which is crucial to our sight, through our body. Moreover, it plays an important role in converting vitamin A from various sources into the most active form. Scientists have noted that when zinc levels in the body are too low, vitamin A metabolism is impaired. This in turn reduces the ability of our eyes to adapt to darkness. This phenomenon is commonly known as chicken blindness. Now, let me briefly tell you what makes a person particularly prone to zinc deficiency. Since the main sources of zinc in the diet are meat and seafood, vegans who follow an ill-balanced diet are especially at risk. 
Here it is worth mentioning that zinc can also be found in plant products such as nuts and grains, but both its levels and absorption rate are lower. This of course doesn't mean that every vegan suffers from zinc deficiency, but eating exclusively plant products makes it much more difficult to ensure an adequate supply. Zinc deficiency can also occur in the course of many diseases. There's no need to go into detail about how exactly this happens, I will only list some of these conditions. These are chronic liver disease, including cirrhosis, pancreatic insufficiency, inflammatory bowel disease, celiac disease, and diabetes. We can also lose large amounts of zinc as a result of chronic diarrhea. Hence, if diarrhea is not stopped quickly, it can contribute to a significant depletion of zinc in our system. Zinc deficiency is very often observed in alcohol abusers. This is because alcohol reduces the absorption of zinc in the gastrointestinal tract and increases its excretion with urine. It is also worth mentioning that excessive ion supplementation can significantly impede our zinc absorption. However, I stress that this applies only to supplementation with very high doses of iron at about 40-60 mg. This shows that although we should reach for dietary supplements in certain situations, more is not always better. To check the level of zinc in our body, we should do a blood test. The standard for zinc ranges from 70 to 120 micrograms per deciliter, although some laboratories report a slightly wider range, up to 160 micrograms. In any case, if the concentration of zinc in the blood drops below 70 micrograms, it means zinc deficiency. Now, a few words about how to supplement zinc. Well, the basics mostly include regular supply of zinc through diet. Products particularly rich in zinc are oysters, red meat, fish and poultry. Smaller amounts of this ingredient are also found in certain plants. The most of zinc can be found in pulses such as beans as well as nuts and whole grain products. However, it is important to remember that many plant products also contain phytates, which can interfere with zinc absorption. The daily zinc requirement for adults is 8 mg for women and 11 mg for men. If it turns out that you suffer from zinc deficiency, a quick and reliable solution is reaching for supplements. Usually preparations contain about 25 to 40 mg of zinc. According to official recommendations, we should not exceed the dose of 40 mg per day. If we did, it could impede the absorption of other minerals, including for example copper and iron. It can also cause gastrointestinal discomfort, a metallic aftertaste in the mouth and headaches. When it comes to what forms of zinc are best for supplementation, I think we should first and foremost go for organic ones, like hydrogen aspartate, glycinate or citrate. At the beginning of the video I said that zinc is relatively unknown among people who aren't particularly interested in nutrition. While that's true, in my opinion, zinc is no less important than magnesium, calcium, iron or potassium. Especially since, as I said, many people suffer from its deficiency without even knowing it. I would be pleased if you shared this video with your friends to raise awareness of zinc and its importance. Together we can do much more to educate the public about a healthy lifestyle. I also recommend you to watch another video on my channel where I discuss vitamin B12 deficiency. That's all for today's video. Thank you for your attention and see you next time.